all the difference. 41. Should have left himself a finish with those three darts. He knows it. Well, believe it or not, Stu, he's still got the advantage because even if Ray Carvan hits a ton, it still leaves him on 131. 100. You know, he's 131. One, one. He's got to take that out. If Wayne can hit a big score here, which he's going to now, surely, which he is, he's going to set this up perfectly. That's what I mean about it. Although he was behind, he had the advantage. Now, Carver's got to take right, the 131 out to hold his set. We've got to say, that was, that was classic Mardle, 147. But, double 16. Hey, it's it's Absolutely superb from Nine Ray Carver. Eight. Absolutely top draw, Stuart. You've put it right there. That was incredible. Wayne would be standing behind him going, thinking, I've got this 59. set. And he pulls it right out of the bag. 131. It doesn't come any better than that, no matter who you are. Great 55. finish there from Carver. Will that frustrate Wayne, Stuart? I mean... If he gets frustrated and starts missing them treble 20s now, Ray, Ray could really punish him. 140. Well, it certainly put the spring back in Ray Carver's step. Mardle hit that brilliant, and it was 147 to leave himself 32 41. to take the set against the throw, put him in the box seat in this match. And under pressure, I'll tell you what, that's as good as it gets. 131. 142. Well, it certainly inspired Carver. He's now got complete control in this leg. And of course, it was Wayne's throw, so Wayne cannot afford to lose this leg. Because Carver will have the throw in the next leg to win the set and the game. Well. Carver, 97. hoping to prove he's a cut above. He certainly did with that 131. One hundred. May not Ryan be good enough. 65. Well, he should go for 25 here. It gives him two darts at double top. Yeah. Uh, 45. Should. Yeah, he wants double 16 for the leg. Game hit shot. it again. He hit the previous leg. We'll right take it out 131 and he's just hit it there. Second leg. Against the throw. And Wayne now. One minute he thinks he's in control in that previous set. Now he's fighting for his life. Well, with this format, it just goes to show, doesn't it? Marvel thought he'd be back to take out double 16 to go 2 1 up, and here we are, just a, a matter of two minutes later, and here's Ray Carver throwing for the match. Yeah, you've got to give it to Carver. He has played exceptionally well here, been scoring really well. 26. Well, another commentator's nightmare. But uh, Wayne has really got to pull it out. He's really got to extend that arm and get the treble. 140. Yeah, great response from Mardle, a real fighter. As we mentioned, three 0 down to Taylor at the World Championships and won. 100. Yeah. 100. Yeah, that's good scoring from Wayne. But. Uh, he doesn't want to leave Carver another shot out, the way he's playing. If he hits two of these, he may, may go 25. No, he's staying up there. Good scoring, good pressure. Yeah, the, the clench this from Carver. Travel 17 may be a must. Bullseye to stay alive. Oh, oh what a response! Fantastic from Bullseye! 131 from Carver to win the last set, to stay alive. Marvel against the throw, breaks back. 1-2-1 on the ball. Game on. How about that? What a great game, Stu. He's had everything. High scoring, shots out at crucial times. You know, we had Carver, you know, taken out 131 when he needed it. Otherwise, he'd look like he'd be out of the tournament. Wayne then taken out 121 to stay in the tournament. And then we have at the two high shots out. 1-3-1 and 1-2-1. One. But Wayne now, he knows he's got to break Ray here to get it back. Well, I was going to say, it doesn't alter the fact that Ray Carver still needs just one more leg, this leg, to go through to the quarterfinals. Oh, but the pick of the game so far, 
round five of the US Open, the last 16. Mardle and Carver produce an 16. absolute mini classic at the World Championship, and they haven't let us down here in Connecticut either. Big chance here for Wayne, needs 100. 100. See how much that meant to him. He needed to get that. He's 80 points clear now of Ray Carver in the leg of make or break for Wayne. You don't want to see another one of them in. 90. Well, Wayne, big chance here. Unlucky there, Carver. Just deflecting out of the treble 20 with the last dart into the treble five. But Mardle, brilliant. Mardle has really responded. You know, some players, after Carver took out that 1-3-1 to win the third set, heads would have dropped, but not this man. Oh, unlucky. How unlucky. He was in and out again. That was a nailed on maximum. Well, even a 20 would have put him in a better position, but Wayne was double top to stay in this match. 100. Now, Carver, 126. Will he get a dart in that bullseye? 126. Fantastic entertainment. He's got to get a, a shot for the match at the ball. 91. Well, in the end, he rushed it. He was nowhere Wayne near. He had 20. one dart. Well, double five for Wayne. Last dart chance. Miles away for Wayne. Be so disappointed. Now, Carver is going to have two at double 16 for the match. Three for double 16, double 16 for the match. One left. Yes! Marbles out of the head, Carver becomes the second American through to the quarterfinals. What a performance, acknowledged by Wayne Marble. Marble gave it his best shot, but I'll tell you what, Ray Carver produced one of the best performances we've seen from him for a long time. We know he can do that. We know about his pedigree, and now he's into the quarterfinals of the US Open. A terrific performance from Carver, and we'll be hearing from him very shortly. Just to let you know, we've got one match to go. It's Shulton against Lloyd. That'll be coming up soon. We'll also be hearing from Ray Carver on his brilliant victory over Wayne Mardle. Terrific performance, though. You've got to say that, uh, well, Mardle didn't too, do too much wrong, Rod. He didn't do anything wrong to do, apart from missing the, you know, the three darts at the end there. But that 1-3-1 one, one that Carver did won in the match. So, Ray Carver is through to the quarterfinals. He's going to have to play even better if he's going to get close to the tournament favourite and defending champion, uh, Phil Taylor. But a terrific display from Carver. Dubbridge will play Priestley. David Fatham, the other American, through to the last eight against Chris Mason. But who will Ronnie Baxter be playing? Will it be Roland Shelton or will it be uh, Colin Lloyd? We'll be finding out very, very soon.